Introducing the Whitetail Freaks Grunter by Flextone. Don and Candy Kiske helped design this innovative call with inflection chamber technology to accurately reproduce the natural sounds made by excited or moving deer. After air blows over the reed, the sound waves enter an expanded chamber you can compress, expand, or bend it for instant inflection. The mouthpiece includes true touch buttons that regulate airflow to create ultra-realistic butt grunts, roars, and short wheezes, as well as doe and fawn sounds. These advanced true-to-life sounds are what you need to draw hard-to-call, mature bucks out of thick cover and into bow range. Fill your freezer this deer season with the Whitetail Freaks Grunter by Flextone. Here's our handmade cherry grunt call. This call will allow you to make the majority of deer vocalizations. Quickly adjust the O-ring up or down to replicate a buck, doe, or fawn. It has a freeze-proof tip, so on the coldest day, you don't skip a beat. For low volume calling, cover the main barrel and the sound will come out of the side hole. This is the fawn bleat. This is a doe. This is a buck. Quaker Boys Brawler Grunt Call. In my opinion, the number one grunt call in the world. I've never heard a better one. I've never used a better one. Uh, this call is made out of acrylic. You see this amber colored acrylic, plus it also has the rubber bellows in between the mouthpiece and the coned hard end or the acrylic end. This call is very versatile. You can do all different kinds of grunts on it, tending, this, that, whatever you want to do, it'll do it all. And I'll go through a bunch of them right here. You can vary the pitch by squeezing, stretching, pushing it in. Uh, the, with the reed system in it, it, it will not lock up. It will not stop on You can blow as hard as you want on it to get a buck's attention. And uh, let's listen to it a minute and see what all we can do. That would be normal, not doing anything. Now I'm going to stretch it out. Push it in. I'm going to tone it way down. I mash that bellows down. And quiet it right up. But the main thing about a butt grunt call is I like each individual note. And you'll notice that this call does have it. You can blow it as hard as you want. You can bark or growl or whatever you want to do on it. Quality sound, quality call, which will bring in quality deer. Hey everybody, Brad Biddle here with Hunter Specialties. Today I want to show you a product we're super excited about, the True Talker OG Grunt Call. Now a lot of you may remember the original True Talker, maybe even still use it. But basically this is the same exact call. All they've done is kind of change the reed system where you don't have to worry about it freezing up. And this one actually allows you to do the buck growl. Now just like the original, it's got the same rubberized coating, very easy to grip and very flexible. It kind of allows you to kind of manipulate that sound. Maybe you got a buck out here kind of want to throw the sound away from him. This call allows you to do it very, very easily. Makes anywhere from mature buck, young buck, doe bleat, fawn bleat, to the buck growl. I'm gonna run through them real quick. Amazing sounding call. Now let's talk about the buck growl real quick. A lot of people probably think it's a gimmick, just something they put on a call just as a selling point. Well, that's not the case. I've actually heard it a few times over the years and it's really a, the sound you can't describe. What it is, basically, is a mature buck, more than likely with an estrus doe, especially in an area where you got your buck to doe ratio is 50-50, you know, where, you, where the buck's got a lot of competition. Basically, what he's doing, he's aggravated, he's letting all the other bucks know, here I am, you probably don't want to come mess with me. Now basically what the growl is, it's kind of a series of grunts. Just like I said, the buck's really agitated. 
and he's kind of stringing together his grunts and making it come out as a growl, kind of like this. Like I said, this is an awesome call. We're very excited about it. You can go to hunterspec.com, check out the True Talker OG. Now, when you kill the buck of a lifetime this year with this call, send us a picture. We'd love to see him. I'm Brad Biddle with Hunter Specialties, and good luck this fall. The Messenger Grunt Call is here. After months of designing, testing, and tweaking, James Harrison from Hooks Custom Calls absolutely knocked a home run on this grunter. One morning I get an email from Grant and it says, in church yesterday, I believe I came up with the name. We are going to name this call The Messenger. And he explained to me. So now I'm going to let him explain to you and then we're gonna let James blow that grunt that literally brought that deer up the hill a while ago. It was incredible. We were all sitting up there waiting on you guys to get here. We go, what's coming up the hill? What's cutting? James had just got done grunting. So we'll let Grant explain what that's for. You don't wanna blow, I'm a five-year-old buck. If you come over here, I'm gonna kill you. That doesn't result in a lot, where a lot of us hunters, not to me five-year-old challengers, that didn't result in a lot of deer running in to take the doe away. We want to be a two-year-old that feels like he's got some oats to him, but three, fours, and fives are going to come in and instantly look for that receptive dose. So when we started meeting, you know, we'd explain in biological terms, and they would talk in call terms, and we literally, Adam and Daniel and Clay and a bunch of other guys, went out several times during the summer with a big box full of calls. I don't know if you brought them, Adam, or not. But big box full of all the commercial calls we could buy, and somebody get, you know, down we did 50, 100, 150, and 200 yards. And one thing that blew out right off the bat was a lot of calls, if you blow it loud enough to go 200 yards, it's squeaking. It totally blows out, the reed blows out. And the others were so deep that if you blew them to get that, the, tank, the sound may not blow out, but it didn't sound like a deer. It wasn't communicating what it wanted to communicate. And if you're watching the video, before there was ever a name, these were onesies made by James. Where is James? James went up right up there. Speaking. Onesies made by James. I mean, just literally onesies at a time, changing, I don't know all the terms, the tone board and the read. And to James, I want it to do X, Y, Z. This is what I want. And I want to be able to blow on as hard as I can and not squeak. And I want to be able to soft blow up when they're close so they can't get my location. When Adam and I first started talking about this project, we reviewed all the video footage we had of Bucks grunting and we knew the most attractive sound we could have in the woods was of a two-year-old buck tending a receptive doe. What buck wants to run into a five-year-old buck tending a doe because there's a good chance he's going to get whipped. But a two-year-old buck, wherever three, four, and five-year-old knows he can steal that doe readily. Let's see if we can get James to... That sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, nothing commercial, that just sounds good. Being a master call builder, James did a great job with the reed, getting it where it works close range, and also will sound great when that buck's traveling across the field. 